In this example, we will factor polynomials. In part a, we'll factor a squared b minus a squared c plus a squared d. The greatest common factor for the three terms is a squared. Pull out the a squared, leaving b minus c plus d within the brackets. In part b, we'll factor 6x squared y squared plus 18xy. The greatest common factor of 6x squared y squared and 18xy is 6xy. Rewrite 6x squared y squared as 6xy times xy. Rewrite 18xy as 6xy times 3. Pull out 6xy from both terms. Collect what's remaining in a set of brackets. The answer is 6xy times xy plus 3. In part c, we'll factor minus 13ab squared c cubed plus 39bc squared minus 26ab to the 4. The greatest common factor for the three terms is 13b. To help see this, let's find the prime factors of each term. List the prime factors of 13ab squared c cubed. Now list the prime factors of 39bc squared. And we'll also list the prime factors of 26ab to the 4. We can circle a triplet of 13s and a triplet of b's. Putting these together gives the greatest common factor, 13b. Since the first term is negative, we should factor out a negative as well. Rewrite 13ab squared c cubed as 13b times ab c cubed. Rewrite 39bc squared as 13b times 3c squared. The plus connecting the terms can be written as two minuses. This lets us attach a minus to the 13b in the second term. Rewrite 26ab to the 4 as 13b times 2ab cubed. The minus connecting the terms can be written as a plus and a minus. This lets us attach a minus to the 13b in the third term. Pull out minus 13b from all three terms. Collect what's remaining in a set of brackets. The answer is minus 13b times abc cubed minus 3c squared plus 2ab cubed. In part d, we'll factor minus xy cubed minus x squared y squared. The greatest common factor for xy cubed and x squared y squared is xy squared. Since the first term is negative, factor out a negative as well.
rewrite xy cubed as xy squared times y. Rewrite x squared y squared as xy squared times x. The minus connecting the terms can be written as a plus and a minus. This lets us attach the minus to the xy squared in the second term. Pull out minus xy squared from each term. Collect what's remaining in brackets. The answer is minus xy squared times y plus x.